Welcome to Caseway Quick Fits. This Quick Fit will demonstrate how to complete a work program using the cash and cash equivalents as an example. Note, all the work programs function in the same way. The focus is on the functionality in the audit program and not the content that may be modified for your jurisdiction. The Quick Fit will cover completing the detailed audit response, reviewing procedures, completing existing procedures, and modifying and adding new procedures. While in Working Papers, from the Document Manager, double-click on the Cash and a Cash Equivalence Work Program. Each of the work programs contains the planning area for use in designing a work program that responds to the assessed risks at both the financial statements and assertion level. The top of the document is referred to as the Detailed Audit Response. This area is used to document the nature and extent of planned audit procedures. Note that your firm may have chosen not to use this area and are using an alternate form for this process. Once the first two steps have been documented, the audit response table should be completed. In this example, the standard IFAC assertions are displayed. The name and number of assertions can be addressed and the work programs may change based on the jurisdictional requirements. Assess the risk by assertion for this account, cash, using the drop-downs under the assertions. Select high, medium, low for each assertion. Note that in some jurisdictions a scoring system is used where numbers are used to represent risk levels. Below the assessed risk for each assertion, document the proposed response for the assessed risks. The table is used to determine the appropriate number and extent of audit procedures. In this example, after assessing the risks, all basic procedures will be completed and some extended or substantive procedures are planned for the completedness, existence or occurrence and accuracy assertions. To document the proposed audit response, place X's in the appropriate input cells. Select the Tab key or Enter on your keyboard to take you to the next cell in the table. Select the checkboxes to document that you addressed each assertion in the audit plan response, the user's initials, in this case A1 or Auditor1, and the date appear automatically. You are also able to add comments as necessary. For more details on the audit methodology, please refer to the IFAC guide to using international standards on auditing in the audits of small and medium-sized entities. With the detailed audit response completed, you may want to hide this section and focus on the procedures. From the template menu, select Options, View Options, uncheck Detailed Audit Response. Notice the section is no longer displayed. You can include several areas within any work program. For example, perhaps you wish to view descriptions of the abbreviated assertions. From the template menu, select Areas, Financial Statement Assertions. Select Insert Assertions. Notice the descriptions of the assertions appear above the procedures. After assessing your audit plan, you should review the plan procedures to ensure that you have addressed the risks. Additional procedures are located in the content library that may be applicable to your engagement. Procedures in the content library are optional and you must use your professional judgment to determine if they are necessary based on your risk assessment procedures. Let's have a look at how you'd complete the individual procedures and the tools available to you. The first procedure is analytical procedures. Complete the response using the drop-down list. In this case, we will select completed with no exceptions. When the checkbox is marked, the procedure automatically adds your initials and the current date. To add references to a procedure, right-click on the procedure row and select insert new reference. Using the Reference drop-down, the Cash and a Cash Equivalence Lead Sheet is selected. Note that multiple references can be added to each procedure. Select OK. Click on the reference and it automatically drills down to the reference document. Select the Back button to return to the work program. The next procedure in the Cash Work Program is the Listing Procedure. Note, when I try to sign off a procedure without providing a result, I get a warning advising that I should provide a result. Selecting a result from the drop-down menu and the procedure can now be signed off. And in this example, two references are added through the right-click menu. Note that your firm may modify the requirements for when an explanation must be provided for each response type. 
For other results, an input cell allows you to provide additional information to the result. For example, procedure 3 in the CASH program, restrictions, the result could be completed with exceptions noted below. In this case, type in the comment, for example, company has a covenant with the bank to maintain a debt equity ratio of 2 to 1. Note that many tools are available from the right-click menu. To edit an existing procedure from either the Procedures drop-down or the right-click menu, select Edit Procedure. In this example, the word significant is removed from Procedure 5, Bank Confirmations. In each work program, you are able to add risks using the Risk button. Please review the quick vid on risk for instructions on completing risk. Within Audit, there may be other procedures you deem necessary as you work through the program. You are able to insert the work program additional procedures from the content library. From the template menu, select Procedures, Insert Procedures from Content Library. Notice the procedures that can be added to the work program. Select Closed Bank Accounts. The procedure is added to a new Other Audit Procedures section. Subsequent procedures are added at the bottom of the area but can be sorted easily. Further customizations can be done within the work programs. For example, if you wanted to create a new section below Closed Bank Accounts, right-click on the procedure and select Insert Blank Title. Provide the title. In this example, we will use Financial Statement Presentation and Disclosure. To sort the procedures, or in this case the title line, right-click on the section and select Sort Procedures. A Sort dialog opens. Use Move Up and Move Down to sort accordingly. Select OK. Notice the title appears below Procedure 16. Now we want to add procedures to this new area. To add a new procedure, right-click on the title line and select Insert Blank Procedure or if necessary, Insert Blank Procedure with Sub-Procedures. Notice Procedure 17 is inserted and a Sub-Procedure A is inserted below. Additional sub-procedures can be inserted through the right-click menu by selecting Insert New Blank Procedure First Level. In this example, five sub-procedures are inserted. The content added for this procedure requires the auditor to document the information needed for financial statement presentation and disclosure related to cash and cash equivalents. To add or modify assertions, right-click on a new procedure and select Change Assertions. Select the applicable assertions. In this example, all the assertions are selected. Select OK. Complete the procedure as outlined previously. Note that you can customize any procedures or add new procedures as deemed necessary for your audit engagement. The final step is to complete the audit conclusions and sign off the work program. If you select to sign off the work program without completing all the procedures, a warning message appears. Once all the procedures are marked as completed, the work program can be signed off as completed. For additional help, completing the work program, select the Help button. To return to the Document Manager, select the Home button. Using Caseware Audit, you can easily document your audit response, complete standard work program procedures, add procedures from Content Library and draft new procedures. Modifications are easy to make to the work programs to address specific issues and risk factors in each engagement. That concludes the QuickVid on completing work programs. Thank you for watching Caseway QuickVids.